Hi, welcome to the Johnny B Show. This is episode two. Things have been going well since episode one. On today's special edition of the Spirit of Truth, um, I like to talk about worship. Now we think of the terms of worship, we really think singing and praising God, like on Sunday morning, Wednesday mornings. Whenever we have different services, we think of praising and singing. Praising and singing is worship, but that's just part of the wide range spectrum that worship has to offer. And that's today's topic. Today I would like to talk about worship. Today's passage comes from Genesis chapter 12, verse 8. From there, he went on toward the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. The Abrams set out and continued toward the Negev. Genesis chapter 12, verse 8. Now, I just finished reading Genesis chapter 12. Now, in my almost first high is by Oswald Chambers. The first sentence that Oswald Chambers writes to introduce us to his topic, worship, is, Worship is giving God the best that He has given you. Now, he utilizes Genesis chapter 12, verse 8 as an example. It is where Abram built an altar and offered God's sacrifice. Now, prior to that, God made Abram a promise. He promised him he was going to be a father of many nations. Why? Because Abram was very faithful to God. And what is faith? Faith is what's in your heart. It is righteousness. It's seeing something that can't be seen at the moment. That is what faith is. That's what Abram had. Abraham was a man of faith. Now that's where the center of worship starts. Now, in order to branch it off, people either go through singing and praising, on the Sunday, Wednesday, or wherever there's church, or they go to different concerts. Now that's a part of worship. Worship is a wide spectrum of different things. Worship could be, you know, when we're at work, you know, making money, or it could be at the gym or at school, you know. You could say, how could they be a spiritual act of worship? Well, no more, you got to stay where your heart's at. If your heart is you believe in Christ and where your faith is, that's the foundation of your worship. It's what's inside your heart. And that's when God is pleased with the gifts that He's given to us. And the gifts that God's given unto us is we should do the best we can to make it the best to offer God. And it's like Dr. Falwell says, if it's Christian, it ought to be better. Hello. Welcome to another exciting edition of Johnny D. Speaks from Life. Today we're going to talk about the current tax code and how it affects millions and millions of Americans' lives. Now, there's two ways that taxes affect people. Either you raise taxes or you cut taxes. Those are two different ideas that usually separate the party lines. If you want to raise taxes, typically you're on the left side. If you want to cut taxes, you're considered on the right side. But no matter what you do, someone feels like they're getting robbed or it's not fair. And I agree in that case. For instance, on the left side, they want to raise taxes. Why? Because they want to have more different government programs. And while they're doing that is they're hindering productivity on the right side because they're taking money out of the working man and starting in social programs and different types of government programs. Now, let's look on the other side, the conservative side. The conservative side is they want to cut taxes. They want to keep their money, you know, it's their hard-earned money. And plus, it makes economical sense if you want your economy to grow. Now, let's look at the problems that cutting taxes do. Let's say, like, for instance, you got a social program. Let's say, like, prisons. You want to build more prisons. And the thing is, is if you don't get the revenue, you can't build any more prisons or make prisons bigger. So what ends up happening is you take criminals, you know, you put them back out to society, and they cause more further harm or further danger to the productivity. That's another way it hinders productivity. Now, I'm for neither side. I'm neither for raising taxes nor cutting taxes. It was once upon a time that when our founding fathers came to America, they want to start the American dream. They want to have a place to worship freely, whoever they want to, and also they want to have the best possible life they could have, life and liberty. Now, I'm in favor of the fair tax plan. The fair tax plan doesn't raise taxes nor does it cut taxes. It neutralizes the tax system. If in fact it rewards productivity, 
And if you look in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4, it states, Lazy hands make men poor, diligent hands brings wealth. Now as a nation, we got that backwards. It seems like we are hindering productivity, but we're rewarding laziness. And that is not a problem with our economy. If you want the economy to turn around, I suggest that you need to find more on what the fair tax plan is. And get your congressman, whoever supports a fair tax plan, get them into office. There are very, there are very many people that support the fair tax plan. Yet, there's others that do not support it. Like, for instance, Washington lobbyists and different senators and the IRS. If the fair tax plan became a reality, there would be a lot of people losing their jobs, particularly the IRS lobbyists and senators. Well, honestly, we could do without them because they are done nothing but destroy the American dream. And that's my mind, um, that's my mind and I'm sticking to it. Exercise of the week, don't build sideways. Yeah. Dumbbell side. Go ahead and grab two dumbbells and start from your side. And you're going to slowly raise your arms outward. Then you're going to breathe out. And then you're going to slowly go down. You want to bring your arms angles. outward. You should feel a good pull right around the middle of your shoulder. That's the most of your work. And then you're going to slowly go down. This exercise is great. Helps you develop strength and sculpt your shoulders. Eight to ten reps is perfectly fine. And this is the exercise of the week.